airport pre-check programs that let you skip through the lines at security checkpoints. But now some applicants are getting a surprise when they show up to get fingerprinted. Julie Watts is at SFO to explain what's going on. Julie? Yeah, with increased security at airports across around the world, and then of course delays at TSA here domestically, uh, the demand for programs like this global entry has increased, and folks are waiting months just to get an appointment. But imagine being one of these folks showing up for your appointment at 1 p.m., only to find out it was actually at 1 a.m. This basically says 1:30. And like most people would, David Michelson assumed that meant 1.30 in the afternoon. But when he showed up at SFO to get fingerprinted for the Global Entry Trusted Traveler program, he learned he was 12 hours too late. They told me that I had missed my appointment. And he's not alone. 2.45 was our appointment, but that was 2.45 a.m. apparently. That's right, a government office opened before dawn. It's understandably catching many off guard. So it says military time on the website. Global Entry is one of four so called trusted traveler programs intended to help pre approved, low risk passengers fly through airport security. TSA pre check is the most well known. You've likely seen these special lines for domestic flights. But Global Entry is a premier program allowing international travelers to zip through customs. They automatically get pre check as well. Appointments. The application process begins online, then continues with in person interviews. But appointments have been hard to get. The demand just grew and grew and grew. So, Frank Falcon of Customs and Border Patrol says the SFO Global Entry Office recently began operating round the clock. But while the first in the country pilot program has added 850 extra appointments over 60 days, Jonathan DeLong. also causing confusion and missed appointments. The system is based on military time. Falcon says they're attempting to make concessions for people who miss their appointments, which in some cases are scheduled six months out. Appointments that should now be a bit easier to get, at least in the middle of the night. Who makes an appointment at 2.45 in the middle of the night? Now, a major point of contention from many folks we've spoken to here, military time should start with a zero, so 0100, 0200, and the times on these sheets actually just say 1 colon 0, 0. So we've had folks who actually work for the military here who have been confused. Some folks here have been waiting six hours for a walk-in appointment. So you should know there is a way around this. You can come, hopefully, get a walk-in appointment. They take six at a time, and right now there's six on the list, so we've seen people come and be turned away even for that walk-in list. Uh, some folks are actually booking flights, Alan, to other airports just to try to get an earlier appointment. No kidding. So for this privilege, uh, Julie, how much does it cost you, I guess, and what exactly do you get out of it? So it's $100, uh, and this lasts for five years. And if you're traveling internationally, you can basically breeze through customs. They generally don't check your bags. Um, here domestically, you automatically get pre-checked, so that means you get to go through that faster pre-check line when you are traveling domestically. You don't take your shoes off. You don't have to open up your bags or take out your computer. So it really does speed up the process, especially for folks who travel a lot. Yeah. Oh, if you travel a lot, absolutely. All right, Julie Watts at SFO, thanks.